Hello guys, this is Glenn from Sydney CBD Repair Center and today we have an Oppo Find X2 Pro with this glitchy and broken display and David is gonna replace it for us. So let's get to it. So first thing we're gonna do is try to turn this smartphone off and because the screen is not anymore in proper working condition the touch screen can be inconsistent and David is gonna start off the disassembly process by removing the back cover which is also kind of damaged but we are still gonna reuse that later on when we reassemble the device it's gonna take a while for us. This Oppo Find X2 Pro is very high quality. It's very well made. You can see the adhesives are quite strong on this one. And as we lift it up, we should be very careful not to damage the back cover. And we're gonna put that to the side for now and remove the cover for the daughter board. So the connector for the this Find X2 Pro is located on the right corner on your screen there. So we're gonna remove the connectors on this board. We're gonna let it dangle. And underneath that, there's another board where the display connector is connected to. So we're gonna remove that as well. So we're gonna test it out. We're gonna install the, this replacement display. This is specifically for the Oppo Find X2 Pro and we will try to turn this on if it works or not in this uh, specific configuration. Usually they just turn on, no issues. And there you go. You can now see the Oppo logo and some animations and now we are in the home screen uh, unfortunately we can't show you the home screen because the client doesn't want us to go into the smartphone so you just have to use the emergency dialer and shut this phone down typically when the client doesn't want us to open the device we just let them but the testing for the camera can't be done without unlocking the phone so they will have to do it on their own it depends on the client this time we just can't do it we're gonna remove the display now we're gonna use this box cutter to gain access at least lift up the broken display and now we can slice through it like what we did with the back cover it's also very sticky you can see you can just slice through it you can you can't really rush this process we have fast forwarded the video 500 times so we don't have to sit here watching david struggle with the front display and now we're gonna slowly peel it off the adhesive on this one will also require us to require a proper cleaning so David is examining the corners the sides we're gonna slice through some of the residue of the old adhesive and remove them by scraping them off we're also gonna wipe them off so that when we put our own liquid glue here the display can sit flush over the housing also going to show you how we put the adhesive around the camera hole it is important that we don't interfere with any speakers or camera components while we put the liquid adhesive and now we're going to install the screen I'm going to position it and press it in and then we apply pressure on all sides just to keep it in place and then we'll wait for the adhesive to dry 
Meanwhile, we are going to focus our attention on the reassembly process. At the back, we're going to connect this connector for the new display. Position them in a, such a way that it can't be damaged when we try to sandwich them together with additional components on top of them. And we're just going to attach everything and screw them back together. So if you have an Oppo Find X2 Pro that needs a new display, if you need a new battery for your Oppo Find X2 Pro, or you have an iPhone, an Asus ROG phone, a Samsung Galaxy phone, David can fix them for you. You just have to ask if he can perform the repairs beforehand. You can visit him here in the shop and ask for his diagnosis on your smartphone. He will find the right part for you. And if you're confident to DIY this repair, I think you can do it. This Oppo Find X2 Pro has tough adhesives, but you can easily fix them up. There's no need for you to remove flimsy components. You just have to watch some iFixit videos in this one if you want, and you can do it yourself. But if you can't, you can have your local repair service technician or David here to help you out with the procurement of the replacement display, the repair process, and of course the after after sale support if your repair is not successful. There you go, this one is a success. Touch screen is working, the buttons on the sides are working, and we'll shut this phone down and we'll show you the before and after. Thanks for joining guys. I hope you enjoy this. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Facebook page, Instagram account. And I hope you learned something. This is the before and after. And we'll see you again next time. Take care. Cheers. If you want your smartphone fixed for a very reasonable price, you may contact Sydney CBD Repair Center. We also provide mail-in repair services for customers outside of Australia or Sydney. Just message us so we can arrange the shipping of your device.